Pentatonic licks. Here are some pentatonic licks that are two notes per string, but they're still fast. Um, this is sort of a 16th note feel in A minor pentatonic, and it sounds something like this. Let me see if I can get through it. And uh, basically what I'm doing is uh, this kind of pattern where uh, I've got an A note on the D string and I descend three notes in A minor pentatonic, that kind of thing, using the pull off to uh, make it easier to pick basically. And uh, then I ascend back up to the original note and go up to the C note and back down. So, the way I sort of look at it is these two things. This, this is the first part, and this is the second part. So it's A, G, E, think about them notes, and uh, G, A, C. So the two parts together. That's the main sort of meat and potatoes. In fact, that'll give you a real good kind of triplet lick. Slower. Sped up. And then all I did to make it a 16th note feel is add two more notes on the end that we've already played a million times, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. And then I added on A and G, just descending again on the same scale. So I'm repeating a lot of notes, but it ends up sounding cool. That's the whole lick. And the, it, just that cycled over and over will sound pretty cool, you know. And check out the accents, that's a real important thing. Um, all I did was put that on each set of three strings in the pentatonic scale. So I'd start the first one maybe on the A string and do that pattern. On those three strings, keeping within the shape of A minor pentatonic. Then uh, do the one based on the D string. This is the one we started on. Then uh, do one on the G string, which happens to be the D note. Some kind of pattern, a little bit slower. And uh, some kind of thing based off the B string. Let me play it all together so it makes some kind of sense. It's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. Maybe end it with a bend. And you put it all together. Pentatonic licks, more pentatonic licks.